632 now new this morning was your home damaged this winter in our last uh, half hour reporter Connor kick was giving us some advice on how to pick a contractor. Now he's back with some of the red flags you need to be looking out for when making those repairs. Connor, what can you tell us? Yeah, right now I can tell you the weather out here. This is not the ideal scenario for renovating your house, but with that warm weather, hopefully on the way, it's definitely in the back of people's minds to well, should I make repairs or renovations from the last weather season that we made? But there are some red flags that you need to be on the lookout for when you're looking for contractors. The Better Business Bureau of Mahoning County is warning people that some of these businesses may not be cracked up to what they may be and to be on the lookout. Now in the past, they've seen people ripped out of their hard earned money over not doing their homework and not searching for a correct contractor. One thing that you should always ask is if that they have everything in writing for you. This can help avoid conflict or future headaches before they're even a problem and may also make sure that you're aware of the warranty coverage and if the business of the manufacturer of the wood or shingles, for example, will cover that. Also, don't be afraid to ask for proof of insurance or a license. So Ohio, when it comes to home improvement laws, um, is a little lax and um, really anyone can be a roofing contractor. So you're going to want to find a roofer that has experience. Again, this is someone who's coming to your home to do work on your home. It's a job interview. Lastly, the BBB recommends never paying in full. This can make sure that, w when, that the work that is getting done can be done before the cash is handed over. And lastly, one thing to make sure that you're doing is getting a receipt that says final payment or payment made in full. That will make sure that you have uh, all of your records in check for if a problem were to arise. Live in Boardman, Connor Cake, First News this morning.